and like I can offer also playing drunk. Like I can drink on the stream, like I drink like a whole <laughs> bottle of wine, and I can play Fedor heads up any stakes he wants. It's it's actually a deal. Like I'm not going to back off. So if he wants to accept, no problem. Like we can do this stuff like this. Play anybody in the world heads up right now at any stakes they want. Anyone else, hundred percent. And Linus, like up to 40k now, I think I can play. I think Daniel maybe had some little white powder and just type something <laughs> on when I think now he cannot back off, I think. All right, guys, we're not live today. This is a Poker Life modified version, but we're here with my man Limitless. Limitless, we had him on the podcast a couple years back. He was uh, battling at the high stakes back then, one of the top players. He's still been battling at the high stakes. Some very, very high stakes up there. Battling at some of the high stakes games going on right now in the entire world. Hopped into tournaments. Had some success at tournaments. He's battling everyone. Linus Love. All these different guys out there. He's basically taking on any comers, it seems like. And uh, and we're, we're very happy to have him back on the show, man. You uh, you messaged me. You said, hey, I want to get a message out there. And you want to talk more about this Galfon challenge, the heads-up challenge that you were scheduled to play. So I guess just welcome to the show and it's good to have you back. Yeah. On. Hey, Joey. Good to thank you for having me. Yeah. So basically what was the deal? So I was really loving what the field is doing with the challenges, mm -hmm. but then with current action I have, uh, I think the stakes are too small for me. So I just messaged him that it's like 10% chance I might not be able to play. And I think that's the best way to do. Mm -hmm. and, I, and plus I'll be like happily to play like the winner of the challenge and we play like bigger game, like any stakes he wants, I can play if he like agrees or if it's like Fedor or, or because there's like few good players, rest is like, I don't know. And like I can offer also playing drunk, like I can drink on the stream, like I drink like a whole <laughs> bottle of wine and I can play Fedor heads up any stakes he wants. It's, it's actually a deal, like I'm not going to back off. So if he wants to accept, no problem. Like we can do this stuff like this. Okay. So yeah, I've basically been playing a lot big games. So I just feel like I cannot really focus on this challenge, even though it's a, such a great thing he's doing. So mm -hmm. I'll be happy to like playing maybe like some things later with bigger stakes and maybe like winner of the challenge or something like this. Yeah. Okay. So, so you were originally one of the eight guys scheduled that met that starting, I believe this Tuesday, which will be tomorrow and put this out on Monday. So, yeah, so, you're, you're yes, willing so. To, but you're willing to play. You'll, whoever the winner is, you'll play whoever it is. And if yeah, yeah wins, I can play like 20k hands, 15k hands, uh, bigger, like whatever stakes they pick, I can play. I can play them, no problem. Like, I just, uh, yeah, like I'm still, I just finished like bigger game with the list mess now today, with Linus before. Like, it's okay. Like, I have a lot of action. So, I just felt in current state it's like not the thing to do for me at the moment even okay. though it's such a great like i will play this for fun but uh, mm -hmm. i just can't now because like it's not high enough and i'll just punt off my fucking old stacks. <laughs> yeah they're playing i think it's 100 200 challenge and but yeah i think it's i think it's a fine uh, compromise here because you're still saying like hey i'll play whoever wins this well we can still do a challenge and you can still support yeah yeah so but that's what i wanted to say to just to like uh, say thanks for Phil for inviting me and uh, like it's a great thing he's doing so that's why I'm like out there to like give up the challenge into the world yeah. And so when you say you'll play someone drunk, how do we how do we know you're doing? What do you mean? <laughs> uh well so like I offer I offer this to fucking uh, Star Trek so we have like a little Skype group it's called Fight Club so we schedule 100 to 100 battles. I fucking said uh, okay we go on camera first we. We decided to make a roll so like we spin whoever gets picked have to drink so we have like a vip in the game because edges are small but nothing didn't really happen and then i just said uh yeah so basically i just go on camera and i i drink wine like i don't know we can put some judge who sees that i'm drunk like i played quite a lot uh on gg drunk when i was like playing as a vip like i got a new account uh -huh. like through like they changed my nickname and i play drunk uh, portraying VAP. So I think I'm I'm good at this. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm willing to play any stakes he wants against Feather if I'm drunk. It's no problem. What like, about any other guys? Uh, will you play that I mean, too? My man, my man Linus Love, will you play? Are you going to play Linus Love drunk? No, <laughs> Linus Love, I not play drunk. Linus Love, no drunk. Linus Love, I, I play fucking doping. No, no drunk. No drunk Linus for Linus. Uh, you got to give him the full attention. <laughs> Maybe later. But I don't know. Depends on the stakes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I would, uh, no, I think Linus, I, don't, I think it's not my stick, but anyone else, I think I can play drunk, maybe except Magwifin, because I think the same team, 
and Fiti Smith they played quite kind of well. So yeah, but uh, besides that, like all the guys, yeah, I'm like I'm fine with this. But problem with this is if you play like every session that I'm gonna go fucking drunk, it's bad for my health. I was recently checking my health because I was like on a crazy sleep schedule, like three hours per fucking twenty four hours, and, like two months, one month maybe. Uh -huh. And I recently went to like uh, in Moscow, they have like a sick sick doctor like a place where they check your health. So. I did all the blood tests, everything, like how is my mind, and it's fucking great. So I'm ready to fucking rock and roll. You're really. still young. Listen, kid, remember last time we yeah. talked to you, right? You were getting out of sports, getting out of athletics. You were still yeah, finding yeah, your yeah. way in the world. And then, you know, we talk over time. And now you're going to a new world, brother. You're wearing the Dolce & Cabana over there. You're uh, you're having a good time, man. You're enjoying yourself. It's nice to see you again, though. It's nice to talk yeah, to you. Yeah, it's, it's been the, we, I mean, we've talked about fun. doing this a few a few times, kind of getting a little update. But you're, you've been all over yeah. the world, man. You've been playing a bunch of games, live games, online games. You've been enjoying yourself? You've been having a good time? Oh, man, it's been like hell of a ride. Like when we talk. Last time I was like a little baby. Now I'm. I know. I know you like were. A, I, I was. I was baby. I know this. Yeah. Now I'll fucking kill myself. If, if you play it, um, if I played me a few years ago, I will like smash him. So you, you think you think right now you're significantly better than you were a couple years back? Yeah, like much more for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. like normal. What but you, you I've been playing different games, so that's also problem. Like if you play a lot of PLO, then you're gonna play NL heads up. We don't want to miss the PLO table. We've been fucking multi-tabling. That's not too smart. So wait, but, so you're, uh, you're getting into the great game? You a PLO player now? Uh, yeah, like half a year I've been playing some, but this was like a crash course. So basically I got sit in a live game. I didn't, they just switched the game and I'm fucking, I know that I cannot quit. So I just <laughs> played PLO. <laughs> was fucking straddling. <laughs> they loved it in the like, oh, so. So yeah, you're, you're the opposite of what we call a knit. You're like someone that says, I'll give action, right? I know I might be taking the worst of it here, but you don't mind putting yourself in some minus EV. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. Of course, like, I think I can figure it out at some point. And like, that was the, my motivation to learn the game more. Like if uh, we had this big heads up uh, and then I started to like, okay, Smart. now I actually have incentivized to learn some new game. But uh, yeah, reg has been quite high there, but. Yeah, so that's that's my uh, my message to the world. Like, if I can play the winner of the challenge, we can play more hands, and we can play big. Like, I need to play big to would, be would more. Would you play? Would open. you play anybody in the world heads up right now at any stakes they want if the stakes were big enough for you? I mean, I know you got action. Right uh, now. I'm not sure yet games. about uh, Linus in terms of how big of a stakes I want to play with him, but anyone else, hundred mm -hmm. percent. And Linus, like up to forty K L, I think I can play. But if I want to play, like. 500 1000 big blinds i'm not sure like uh yeah th this one i will need to think because the thing is with all the different games if you play like a very very tough one it takes all your energy and stuff so mm -hmm. like i'm happy with my life and stuff so like depends on the terms and stuff because now when we play often people have like, even pay win rates and stuff to what was that like, what is, how, does, how does that work explain that to us like someone let's say you x book like uh and then guy actually who is X booking the action is paying the win rate uh, to someone like for playing and stuff. So, oh, so people bet on uh, the side. People bet on the side. Like you play. Yeah, yeah. It's people. like a lot Makes of sense. betting in heads up going on. Yeah, I've been playing like 40 KNL mainly, and uh, yeah, it just that's why I thought it's the challenge. Uh, I can play like the winner of the of it, even though I'm portrayed as a fish, but uh, come come. Hey, I'm, you're, portrayed, I'm, 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 you're portrayed as a fish. Is that what they say about you? Uh, of course, yes. I'm a <laughs> big fish. Sitting in that, ro sitting in that, that, uh, that Dolce and Cabana, the little pajamas it's, there. I mean, it's a <laughs> pajama, yeah, yeah, pajama. It's a uh, birthday gift from friends. It's pretty nice. <laughs> when you, when you were saying earlier, you said about playing the new accounts, right? How does that work? How does that operate? What do you mean? You said uh, new accounts, and you, you can play like a fit. Like how? What is that? How does that work? Is that what people? Are doing mm, no, no. What? Basically, when they switch up. Uh, GG Poker from not related to GG Poker again, you got a new nickname, and okay. uh, there was like this massive VIP and on stars. And uh, I was talking with some like uh, Rex during the ethics, like if it's fine if I will like play like a VIP to lure the Rex in. So we basically he said it's okay because no one else gave me their nicknames. So I was just like having two weeks of a very big uh, deep stack uh, 200 for 100 NL action 
for playing as a VAP. Like I needed to do some no local ins and stuff and things like that worked out quite well. It was a uh, fun stuff. Uh, Stefan said he wanted to kill me and my family <laughs> after, but I had to apologize. It's all good. Well, doesn't that, uh, doesn't that happen fun. on a lot of these sites where you, you like if you if you get new names or if it's a new private club and you don't know who everyone is? Which mm, I mean, uh, on the clubs, I'm not playing much. Uh, it's just all too private, camera, all the booze, bullshit. But like it just was a rare occasion on the GG when they changed the nickname. Now it's I, I think it's pretty good that they make the real name change. I think it's nice. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's uh, good for overall um, the game. Like, uh, like what's safer, more action, or what? What do you think? Uh, like, yeah, because you know who you play against. Like, for example, if someone plays for someone, but it's like different name, you know, it's. I think it's more serious. Like, if someone is ghosting someone and it's like a real name, I I just feel like it's a okay change for high stakes to have a real name out. It's like pretty nice because they're like. If you new new accounts, you Google the name, nothing happened, nothing there, and then it raised more suspicion and stuff. So I think it's a good thing party poker and GG is doing. So So yeah. you're you were playing tournaments in a while because I saw you pop in some of the high rollers, but now if you're playing all these cash games, you don't uh, I mean the tourneys are too small now. I I will play twenty five Ks because during the high roller or something ball or whatever it called. There was like uh, almost every day 25 pieces, so I was playing those. And now I play like Sunday MTTs unless I have some bigger action going. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, just I, I, I don't mind tournaments. It's pretty good. But uh, if uh, the most still thing is if you have like a 5k tourney left and it's like, you know, only your only table and you just uh, keep playing it and it's like Boring. not as thrilling as it used to be before. But uh, yeah. Play, play, trying to play old games. Do you still, do you still get a thrill? I mean, you're playing some really high stakes now. So are you, are you getting that heart beaten? Is it, is the heart pumping still? Uh, or are you getting, getting used uh, to it? You know what? Uh, I had few times my heart beat when I was in all in PLO. Then I, my heart <laughs> beat. I'm chasing this uh, thing. Yes. Uh, I'm ch- usually, no. Usually, I'm not getting it as, anymore. But uh, yeah, it's very nice feeling to have if you have thrills when you play. Interesting, yeah, man. So, so how, how long, how much longer do you think you'll be able to keep this lifestyle up? Because, I mean, you're, you're playing a lot of poker. I've, I don't know. Uh, I mean, if doctor allow me, I can fucking, or if I don't lose all my money, and then, <laughs> then <it's, laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there. It's okay. You'll be there, you'll be there getting in the mix? Uh, yes. You, uh, yes. You, you've seen this, uh, you've seen this heads up challenge going around, Duck Polk versus Dan Negreanu. You heard about that in your circles? Uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I saw it. What do you think I about think that? What do you think I about think that Daniel... Idea? Maybe had some little white powder and just type something on when <laughs> I think now he cannot back off. I think I think that's the I think that's the deal. Like that's why it happens. Like no way. And he's like in Zen mode. He will fucking type this for sure. He was like drink or something. I just like yeah, fuck you, dog. You're retired. Like, let's play. Let, let now it's reality. I, no, I think now that's he's how. like. Uh, maybe, maybe Doug's like, Doug just, it, he just set up about like 10 matches this month to start training. And I mean, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Like, or even he offered him any game. Like now it's no back off. Like, come on. You, you, you were the first who challenged him. Like now what? Like, I mean, he for sure was on some, uh, drunk. I am not drunk now, so I'm challenging anyone anyways. But, uh, uh, yeah, I think Daniel on this occasion was probably on some substances. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, listen, it make, I, I, yeah, I, it, it was strange, right? It was strange to see him accept the challenge, give it Doug any stakes he wants to play and everything like that. Does that kind of stuff, is that, are you paying attention to that? Or are you just kind of focused on, on the games you're in? You focus on uh, It depends. Cause I've been browsing a little bit of poker, but I just like, for example, I know this like MTT, APT champion and stuff like for me, someone who grinds like NL 500 and is a reg. It's much bigger accomplishment than just winning some like don't comment. So I don't like this type of bracelet hunting or stuff like that. Cause I think, uh, that's why I'm not really railing too much of this ego bullshit and stuff. But if it's like something, uh, like cheating or things like that, then of course I could try to be like in touch with going on with poker roll, but depends on the games because I have not enough sleep. And like one time I wasn't like. I mean, during the Corona, I was like in home for like 10 days straight and uh-huh. just, yeah, just playing. 
You, you sleeping a little bit now, or what? Are, what are you? You, you all? You uh, behind, huh? I think yeah. I finally had a nice sleep, so uh, I had like ten hours. So this was great. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, listen, you're 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 deep, and it's fun following along. You know, I appreciate the uh, the conversations we have at various points in time, man. You're always really excited. You're always fired up. So I, I love that energy, man. And uh, you know, yeah. I know we're kind of I know we're keeping this short, and we're key. We're just kind of talk, hitting on a few key points here for the conversation. Obviously, this is going for a long time, so. But I guess you want to say anything out there to the people up there? You want to give a message? I know in Poland they're paying attention to you, right? You're uh, oh um, yeah, it's been it's been crazy because um, one of the because after this change to real name, they like start to follow me more like online and uh, like some mainstream media catched up and yeah, I was like attending some talk shows and stuff. It's been a pretty big deal there. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been uh, pretty nice. You like but... you like that? You into that or what? Uh, it's attention. like either you want to get some pussy via this or promote your brand and I don't have much brand I just play so I don't know like what's my AV but I think it's good to give back something to Polish community because poker there is like a great area so I just try to portray it in like a good way and maybe later like I open some of my like model agency maybe or some shit and then it be, <laughs> what? yeah it will be helpful uh, at some point yes I think uh, to have like a more name i guess oh you mean yeah, or like, like or like, like if i open people. or if i open my casino like in poland that like in like 10 years i think it's good to be more known i guess like if they change the rules yeah, right now it makes good. sense yeah are the girl are the yeah. girls coming in are you meeting a lot of women or what i mean well, from, Listen, now it's coronavirus i'm not I mean, meeting I'm, I'm i'm fucking jerking off man like it's coronavirus i'm not fucking uh <laughs> meeting <laughs> girls no 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 i'm <laughs> Crazy, old old man. school Victor, yes. Old uh, school Victor, huh? New new school Victor. <laughs> pornography and high stakes poker. <laughs> I love it, brother. I love it, man. Okay, so we're gonna be looking out for you, winner of the Galfond. Uh, I don't even know what we're calling that. The heads up challenge. You're taking on the if, winner. If they want, uh, yeah, yes, I think they will want. And the uh, drink challenge, feather any stakes. Why I play Fedor? Drive, why, you got, play. why you going for my guy Fedor? Like that's my guy. What's up? What, what, what Fedor do? Uh, uh, I don't know, like, I, I, he feels like, uh, I think he's a nice guy, nothing against him, but he's like, has up challenge, think he has a lot of money, has, I think all the MTT guys have high, high ego, like they're the champions, so I just show them drunken style, and offer, we can play on camera if, if someone wants, stream it, whatever, should be fun, I think it's good for poker, like, bring some fun, enjoyment. That's what I'm saying, that, buddy, so. let's bring some, let's bring these events, I'm loving Yeah, yeah, that you're good, doing good things with the content putting more online poker on the map because level of play is really nice and the uh, game's been good like it's like it's been really good so yeah i mean you worried about any yeah. uh any out of line activity happening in these games you're in buddy you're gambling for millions of dollars are you worried about anyone uh... <laughs> of course of course i'm worried <laughs> <laughs> of course i'm worried man it's, uh, like it would be crazy if i wouldn't be worried <laughs> you're, you're willing to take that risk huh uh yeah high risk high, high reward can't yeah. argue with that buddy can't uh that. only problem just the health but i checked the health so that i'm very good spirit because i'm uh, in good health like everything is works just fine good okay <laughs> well buddy listen i'm happy you came on the show man help you give people an yep. update and i know phil appreciates you at least let you know let him know and kind of explain your situation and... yeah that, that was my main thing like just because like I, I like him so yeah, just try not to be like last minute out and stuff so yeah i get you man i get you well give yeah. the give the people a message man give, give them some give them some parting words mm, to people oh fuck there's maintenance on gg poker that's not good okay <laughs> that's not the message uh, uh i don't know just... poker. <laughs> <laughs> no because we had a good game uh I don't know. I think my message is out there. Just come rail us and uh, Have a maybe something. Enjoy. We'll play some bigger game later on and they'll give you some fun. That's it. Like, just cool. keep playing poker alive. Yeah. Stay safe and peace. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. More content. We got a lot of content coming up this week. Uh, we're doing something. Uh, we got a bunch of videos, a bunch of podcasts coming up as well, too. If you want to follow Victor, Victor, are you on social media at all, or are you, you just on Poker World? I uh, canceled off? all my social media. Yeah, right, no guys. more. Yeah, let's yeah. Keep, it, keep, keep it on the radar. All right, guys, talk to you later. Peace out. Take care. See you.